Welcome back. This lesson is on adding integers. Some basic stuff you should know before we begin is the basis of what integers are. You should be comfortable with basic addition as well as with basic subtraction. So make sure you're okay with those and let's get started. So first of all, what are integers? Integers are positive and negative whole numbers as well as zero. So it's a set of positive and negative whole numbers and zero. It's really important to stress the fact that we're talking about whole numbers whenever we're talking about integers. Negative three and a half is not an integer, even though it has a negative sign. Positive seven is an integer. As long as it's whole and positive and negative or zero, it is an integer. Now there's two methods for adding integers. Honestly, there's more than two, but I feel that the best ones to use are these following two. One of them is the chip model, and the chip model is great for smaller numbers. The other is the money model, and the money model is very good for bigger numbers. First of all, what exactly is the chip model? Well, it's when we use chips to represent the values of different integers. Black chips represent positive integers, and red chips represent negative integers. Well, why is that? Back in the day, businesses used two colors of ink. They only used black to represent gains, and they only used red to represent losses. So that's why black is used for positive integers and red is used for negative integers. If a company was losing money, that would be called um, being in the red. And that's the reason why it's called in the red, because they wrote the, the losses in red ink. So again, black chips represent positive integers, and red chips represent negative integers. Now let's see this in action. First of all, we have to make sure we understand what a zero pair is. A zero pair is when you have a black chip and a red chip that cancel out to make zero. For example, if we have positive one and negative one, positive one can be represented with one black chip, and negative one can be represented by one red chip. If we put the two together, that's a zero pair, and they cancel out making zero. Here's another example, five plus negative five. Well, Positive 5 means that we have 5 black chips, and negative 5 means that we have 5 red chips. Now, same thing as before, we can make 0 pairs. The 5 chips will cancel out with each other and create 0. Now think about that, if you have 5 and then you lose 5, your answer is going to be 0. That's essentially what a 0 pair does, it cancels the numbers out creating 0. So let's try and cancel out with 0 pairs when we're adding 3 plus negative 8. Well, what does positive 3 represent? Positive 3 is going to be 3 black chips. And negative 8 is going to be 8 red chips because they're negative. Now, we have to cancel out any zero pairs we have. So we're going to cancel out 1, 2, 3, and we're left with 5 red. So our answer is negative 5. How about another example? If we have negative 7 plus negative 4, this is a little bit different because we don't have one positive integer and one negative integer. We have both negative integers. So what does negative 7 look like in chips? Well, it basically is just 7 red chips. And what does negative 4 look like? Negative 4 would be 4 red chips. Now there's nothing to cancel out because we don't have a red and black. We just have red. So what we do is we can just put the two together. It's like having losses that we can combine. If we have seven red chips and four red chips, that is going to be 11 red chips. Therefore, it's negative 11. And one more example. If we have negative six plus 10, negative six can be represented by six red chips, and positive 10 can be represented by 10 black chips. Again, since we have black and red, we can cancel out to make zero pairs. One, two, three, four, five, and six. So our six red chips will cancel out, leaving us with four black chips. Therefore, our answer is positive four. The money model is a little bit different. And the reason why that is because remember, it's not really practical to say, hey, if we have negative 100 plus 350, let's use chips. That would be really, really hard to do and would take you a ton of time. So we're gonna skip that and just use the money model. So the money model is basically you just think of money. Positive integers represent money that you have, and negative integers represent money that you owe. So let's take an example. Let's say we have 15 plus negative 10. Well, our positive 15 means that we have $15, okay? And the negative 10 means that we owe $10. So if we have $15, and if we owe 10, we can pay back the 10 that we have, 
and still have 5 left over. So our answer is positive 5. How about negative 20 plus negative 10? Well, negative 20, we actually owe because it's a negative. And negative 10, we also owe. So it's like that old example that we had when we had seven red ships and four red ships. Same exact concept. If we owe 20 and we owe 10 more, how much do we owe all together? Well, we put them together because we owe both of them. And that would give us negative 30. How about negative 25 plus 22? Well, we owe 25 and we have 22. We owe more than we have, so that means that even after we pay back with what we have, we're still going to have money that we owe. Well, if we owe 25 and pay back 22 of it, we're still going to owe $3, so our answer is negative 3. How about 13 plus negative 30? 13, do we have or owe that? Well, it's positive, so we have 13. Negative 30, do we have or owe that? Well, it's negative, so we owe it. So we owe negative 30. So we have 13 and we owe 30, so we owe more than we have, which means our answer right away is going to be negative. So how negative? If we pay back the 13 that we have, we're still going to owe 17, so our answer is negative 17. And how about negative 55 plus negative 30? Well, negative 55 means we owe 55. Negative 30 means we owe 30. Since we owe 55 and we owe 30 more, we put the two together because they're both money that we owe. So 55 and 30 together means that we owe a total of 85, making our answer negative 85. So here's your pause and practice. Just pause and practice. When you're done, unpause the video. After a 3, 2, 1 countdown, your answer will be displayed. Go. Okay, so number one is 38. Number two is 26. Number three is negative 12. Number four is 128. Number five is negative 47. Number six is 12. Number seven is four. Number eight is negative 11. Number nine is negative 31. And number 10 is positive four. Our reflection. When adding integers, the two best methods to use are the chip model and the money model. In the chip model, black chips represent positive integers. In the chip model, red chips represent negative integers. Now remember, back up a second for the chip model and the money model. Remember, the chip model is excellent for smaller integers. Okay, when we're first going over adding integers, it's great for smaller integers. The money model is actually beneficial for larger integers. It's actually a lot more practical. You'll see that you'll actually add bigger integers more than you'll add smaller ones. So be very comfortable with the money model. The colors black and red are used in the chip model because in the past, businesses used two colors of ink. Black was used to represent gains and red was used to represent losses. In the money model, positive integers represent money you have. And in the money model, negative integers represent money you owe. If you have more than you owe, then your answer will be positive. You have to remember that. If you have more than you owe, then you're more positive. You're going to have money left over. You're going to have a positive answer. And if you owe more than you have, then your answer will be negative. Just think about that for a second. If you owe more than you have, then you can't pay back everything, which means that you will still owe, and therefore you will have a negative answer. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And thanks for using Mr. Ace Math. Don't just pass math, ace it.